We're Danielle and Tommy. We spent the last three years traveling around North America, and now we're renovating this 1973 Airstream. In this episode, we move on to building our tiny kitchen. We've been waiting months for this part of the build, and although our kitchen may be tiny, we really surprise ourselves with how functional the end result is. So this won't just be sitting on the floor. The countertop will end right below the window frame, just like it does on our little dresser area. The sink will be centered to the window. And then obviously the plumbing will run underneath there. And we'll probably end up doing a trash can under here. Yeah. Over here by the wall will be our cooktop. And then we'll probably do open shelving, open shelving over this. Our water heater will go underneath of the propane cooktop and then we'll have a very small area for like a few drawers or doors. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna start building the kitchen cabinetry. Do the mock cooking over there and then pretend you're getting spices like look at that oh yeah <laughs> that's just such good placement Finishing up the plumbing so the cabinets are in, now we can finally attach everything to where it's going to be forever, for it's forever home. Forever! And, uh, yeah, it's getting pretty, pretty done. Once we're done with this, then we're just working on the countertop. Countertop and then putting the shelves in. And while Tommy finishes up that, I'm going to go ahead and test some of the samples we bought for the cabinet color for the kitchen. We decided not to go with white. I got three samples. We're going to test those out. And then after that, uh, we're going to sand our countertop down. We pressed those together last night and had a few issues, but nothing we can't fix. So this is the one that I think that I, when I saw it online, I liked the best. The Canyon Dusk definitely has like a pink hue to it, but it's like clay. I like it. Yeah, it's really pretty. You'll see, it does have a pink hue. Burnt almond is the next. Ooh. 
like burnt almond a lot. I think I like burnt almond too. That's a hard one, man. Well, yesterday we didn't get as much done as we thought we were going to. We had a lot going on outside of the Airstream build. But I spent most of my day sanding the countertop. Since we got that done yesterday, we can finally bring the countertop inside today and go ahead and fit it to the space, which means we have to scribe the wall behind. End of day goal would be to get our sink in and the stove top in. And to get the countertop attached. This far this week. I know. This is a lot. You want both weights here? Yeah, we're just up there if you can. <laughs> so this is completely in now. The sink hole has been cut, but it's not perfect. We're gonna mount the sink and then do a flush bit so that it's right against the edge of the sink. Before we put the sink in, we've decided to go ahead and put the faucet in so that it's easier for Tommy to install it. Yeah, because it's going to get really difficult to be behind the sink. And this is the faucet that we chose. I think you should line it up with the edge. Right. And then this swings also. It swings to get out of the way. Oh, that's cool. And it looks centered, for sure, for sure. For sure, for sure. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Tight, just like right there. All right, jig is in place. Oh, cool! Whoa, Danielle, that looks great. Looks really good. This is crazy. And then I, this is... I like the black. That's nuts. And then the black couch, it's really all gonna come in together. So, we're gonna do this. Like glue it in. Yeah. So crazy. Are we sure we want to do this stuff? Yeah. I love the black sink. I was so apprehensive about all the black features. And it's so nice. I can't wait for this to be brown. I know. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. Pushing up as far up as you can go. Perfect. Perfect. I'm going to start screwing down. Okay. I think you can let go. But now that we have the sink all clamped up to the bottom, 
We're gonna let this dry for 24 hours. We're Let's also see. gonna screw in the brackets before that. Tomorrow, even though it's gonna rain, we have um, a bunch of things that we could get done. I'm gonna be finishing the video that's supposed to be up before this one. And Tommy is going to be doing um, like outlets and finishing stuff. We'll see you guys tomorrow when we start all of that. Well, we're back out working on the Airstream today. We are going to finish up uh, the finishing touches on our undermount sink, which means we're going to use the flush bit on this edge and this edge. Uh, this side and this side are perfect, so we're leaving those. And then we're going to move on and try and get some of these cabinet doors done so we can be done with the kitchen. So we didn't record anything when we made the boxes. <laughs> They're just boxes. They're just difficult to get them perfectly square. It takes a lot of time. This is our bowls and our plates. Pretty cool. It's going to remain open. It's going to have a little cover right here. A little different. And under the stove, it needs four inches of clearance and we left a little more space. So we're thinking about adding a really slender drawer for either silverware and like spoons and cooking stuff Even like that. We probably don't need it that. I don't know. It'd be kind of nice not to have that stuff on the counter. Now building our faces. This is what we were aiming for. So yesterday we finished painting all of the face for the cabinets and drawers. Today's a day where the kitchen's gonna look completely different. Yeah, it's gonna look really cool. Tommy filled our spice rack there, which holds way more spices than we thought it would. 15 in total. We're really excited about this kitchen. It's super functional. We designed this kitchen way better than our last kitchen. Yeah. It's so. a true chef delight. You think? I like it. <laughs> We're gonna start putting these on and hopefully we do a good job. Right? Oh, we'll do a great job. I saw this trick on YouTube where people use double-sided tape. I forgot you wanted to do that. To get the cabinet face right where we want it and then we pull out the drawer to get it perfect. So, before we screw in. So I'm gonna try this out with some T-Rex mounting tape. Is that like Walmart brand? Um, I, probably nicer than that, bro. This is like the 900th time of trying this. Before we ask for help, because this is just insane. Never asking for help. 
Tommy's never asking for help. Never surrender. Never okay. surrender. Never give up. Mm. <gasps> that cool. was oh. so. That's easy. That's just I can change that. The these I, I can't think you change. Got it. Yeah. We finally got the drawers and doors spaced out appropriately. Only took all day. That was a lot of measuring. <laughs> But that T-Rex tape was something else. I saw it, I knew that was gonna be perfect. Let's clean this up a little. Oh, are you gonna show the people what we got? The wine rug? When it's installed. You crazy cat! Who got black silverware? I don't like how shiny it is. <laughs> Why is it so shiny? Where'd you, where'd you get this? At yeah, Walmart. If you don't like it, we don't have to use it. It's fine. It's so shiny, though. It's stainless steel. And, like, your fingerprints stay on it. That's fine. That's crazy. When did you do this? Today. I mean, they're all right. I would have preferred matte black. Mm-mm. You like this a lot. Mm-hmm. They love matte black on camera. Okay. Well, that was a surprise. So we originally had this thought that the kitchen was going to be way smaller than we wanted it to be. We hadn't planned on a spot for the spice rack. Why can't I say that? Spot for the spice rack. Yeah. Say it. Spot for the spice rack. Wow, you're good at it. So this was in our last video. We made this. Um, the day we put up the wall, we spent half of that day building uh, this little inset. Holds 15 spices. Yeah, this turned out really cool and I'm obsessed with it. Let's walk through the cabinet stuff. So we have our Dometic uh, front opening fridge. Fridge freezer combo. Fridge freezer combo. Um, I'm still waiting on my knobs, so. Uh, this is under the sink. We're gonna do cleaning supplies and I'm gonna get like a little basket to put in there. Under this one is our combo trash can recycling. This is where it starts to get more functional than we originally planned for it to be. So stove top. This drawer is our plates and bowls, and we made this just so it was right next to the food prep area. You can grab a plate, put food there. If you don't want to pull it out, pull out a drawer to grab plates, and you can just grab them. And these are all super snug in here, so they won't move. And then this lip comes up further, so nothing can roll out if it did come up. Um, under here is our pots and pans drawer, super basic. This is just where our hot water heater is stored, and we'll probably do some storage right in front of it with a basket. This is a drawer we're going to dedicate to like dry food storage, so like quinoa, rice, cans, chips, chips for Tommy, and then our silverware and cooking spoons um, will go in here. We got this magnetic knife strip for up here so all these knives will be hanging here in a minute but um basically we made it so when you're cooking you can stand in this one spot and do all these things the spices are at the ready put it back if you need a new pot there we go so it's just very you don't have to move unless you go to the fridge which is easy boom but i just feel like it turned out really well so yesterday we didn't film anything we did. We made a little floating shelf for the kitchen and we put up the little um, backsplash for the stove area. It still needs to be- um, It's more of a side splash. Side splash. We're pretty much finishing up the kitchen today. Yeah, a little odds and ends. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and put our knobs in, grout, screw that in, and then we're done.
That wraps up our kitchen renovation. We are super excited to be past this point in our build and we are incredibly happy with the way everything turned out in here. Stick around for our next episode. It's going to be our very last building episode of this renovation series. So we'll catch you guys next week and thanks for watching.